I'm biased, you're biased, everyone is extremely biased. Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I am back with another It's Complicated video. So if you notice, I haven't been consistent because depression and chronic pain and everything is just snapping all of my serotonin like Thanos snapped half of the universe out of existence. Yes, I have seen Endgame. No, I'm not spoiling it for you right now. I'm feeling just like grumpy because of all of that stuff, it does give me a perfect opportunity for me to write another script for next complicated video. I figured I might as well use it for productiveness. I also realized that even though I definitely posted my makeup on Instagram and Facebook today, I should probably not let it go to waste because I'm feeling really, really cute. And yeah, I'm not gonna let my depression, snark, and good makeup go to waste. Actually, if I could keep up the snark for my depression when I'm actually feeling mentally healthy and like, being consistent with my content, I would probably be doing a lot better, but you can only get one. Do you want snarky Alex or consistent Alex? Choose your fighter in the comments below. So anyway, I want to talk today about unbiased reviewers, unbiased YouTubers, and why I don't particularly trust people who claim to be unbiased or get a reputation for being unbiased. And I'm going to put out a disclaimer that if you do, I am not aiming this at you. I'm not aiming this at people who do no filter type stuff because I think there are actually people who do stuff like that that is actually good because they recognize their biases. Like Teresa is dead. I know that she recognizes like, hey, I really like this brand and therefore I want to make this thing work as much as possible. You know, stuff like that. I'm not putting that in the same category as like objective people, but I do just want to put that out there. Yeah, I think that's enough of a disclaimer. Let me get into the snark. To me, objectivity comes from a place of privilege. If you are like a straight, white, able-bodied male, the more privileges you have, the more you can claim to be objective because your identity is considered the default and the default is usually what's considered objective. See where I'm going with this? And you also get to see both sides because one side isn't doing direct harm to you. And so that's the main issue I have with objectivity. I don't feel like I need to rant more than just that, but when your point of view is considered the default by society, it's really easy to consider yourself objective when in reality your biases are just considered the default. Your biases are the ones supported by mainstream media, things of that nature. So that is kind of where I'm coming from with the objectivity argument. And conversely, women, queer and trans people, disabled people, people of color, they're automatically seen as too biased or too close to this situation to have a good objective opinion. So when we talk about objectivity, objectivity usually comes with all of that privilege and it is used as a way to silence and dehumanize more marginalized people. A black person talking about racism is seen as too close to the situation to be objective, when in reality I think we should probably listen to those who are too close to the situation because they're the ones who are being directly harmed by it. I get the idea of wanting to try and see the good in all of people. I really, really do because I try that as much as I possibly can. However, recognizing the good does not mean that you should not recognize the reality. And too many times I feel as though objectivity tries to look for the good a lot more than looking for the ways that people are being harmed by the negative things. So the ways people are harmed by racism and sexism and things of that nature. And I also feel like a lot of people who claim objectivity get really, really defensive when people push back and say, ah, actually, I think you're kind of being biased here because they've cultivated their identity around objectivity. When there's this thing that you've always like meant yourself to be put your entire identity around it's really really difficult to hear someone push back and tell you actually you might not be as objective as you think you are so when people push back it feels like an attack rather than a hey do you want to think this through a little bit more so no matter how anybody words anything it's always going to be seen as an attack that's another reason why i think objectivity is something that we should never really really claim because none of us can ever really be objective and when we try to claim that as a part of our identity, when someone calls us out on the fact that we might actually have a little bit of bias here or there, we 
get really defensive. We don't want to acknowledge that and that often leads us to harm other people. We call them names, we push back, we block them, we say that they're being all number of things, we say that they're not letting us have our free speech. That's something that I see from a lot of people is viewing pushback as an attack on free speech when in reality I recognize that my putting my opinions out there, however objective or subjective they might be, there's always going to be someone out there who disagrees with me. And it's not an attack on my free speech for someone to disagree with me or to think that I am unintelligent for believing what I believe. If it comes to that point where we're calling each other names, I feel like I have every right to show that person the door. But when someone is pushing back on you having an opinion one way or the other, it's not an attack on free speech. It's simply them using their free speech to tell you that they think you're wrong. Whether that's right or wrong is up to you to decide, but we should all be open to criticism and feedback. That's not to say that we should open ourselves to name calling or hate speech by any means, but it is to say that we shouldn't take it as a personal attack when someone automatically disagrees with us. I'm not talking about it as a way of like, you know, obviously if you know me, you know that I'm not one to say like, oh yeah, we should just like ignore racism and sexism, blah, 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 things of that nature. That's more to say that someone having a critique of you is not automatically a bad thing. It is not something that we should just ignore because they're haters or they don't like free speech. And I'm also going to argue in this video that when you actually admit your biases, it makes things a lot easier. It's easier to get like a read on how you feel. I trust people who admit their biases in videos a lot more because I'm like, yeah, I know you like that brand, of course. Like, so for me personally, I really love everything by Menagerie Cosmetics and I really friggin want that whale song palette so I'm going to ignore the drama from them that recently happened a lot more than I would probably ignore the drama if it was like from a brand like Tarte or Jeffree Star or a brand that I don't really like. It's things like that that I think are important to note. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be critical of our biases by any means but I am saying that putting those out into the universe is a lot easier I think on both you and your subscribers and the people who watch your videos than just saying oh I'm objective and trying to maintain that sort of personality when we all know that we're human beings. And so when you admit your biases, people trust you more for being honest. At least I know I do. And so that's kind of all I'm really trying to say with this video. I know it's not going to be like a super long video, but this is kind of how I feel. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments. I'm just a kind of person who I feel like if you want to, you know, review something, review it and don't claim that it's like under the guise of objectivity, but rather say like, yeah, I know that this controversy happened and that's not something that I particularly care about in the scheme of makeup. That's fine. I would much rather have someone admit that and say like, you know, I just don't really care that much about this issue than for someone to say like, well, I care about it, but I care more about being objective and blah, 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 blah. And that's kind of what I'm getting at, if that makes sense. And I hope that in my videos that comes across that I am not judgmental in that manner. But let me make sure my camera battery is still going because it told me battery low. But that I'm claiming my own biases too and that I like certain brands over others. So I'm gonna automatically love certain things and probably automatically hate on certain things too. And you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just makes me a human being. And as long as we recognize that about ourselves, it's all good to go. So uh, disagree with me, agree with me. Love how I assume that people are gonna disagree with me first. Um, in the comments below, um, let me know your thoughts. Be nice to each other, be nice to me if you want. Yeah, just let me know how you're feeling. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you wanna have this is the first time in like a year I've screwed up my outro. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you on my next one. Hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye.